In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for KOH plus H2CO3. This is potassium hydroxide plus carbonic acid. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. Two potassiums here, just one here. Let's put a two here. And I think if I put a two in front of the H2O, everything will be balanced. So those are the coefficients for the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. So potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So aqueous, that'll dissolve in water, and it'll dissociate into its ions. It's a strong electrolyte. This carbonic acid, it's a weak acid, but it really doesn't break up into its ions just a little bit. We have carbonates. We have this group one here, potassium group one element. So that's going to be aqueous. That'll dissolve, break apart. And then water, that's a liquid. So we have our states. You might want to memorize a table like this. These are the common weak and strong acids and bases. We see KOH right here. Potassium hydroxide is a strong base, but you don't see this carbonic acid here. So it's not a strong acid. It's a weak acid. We know it's an acid. There's an H in front. Okay, so we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So let's see. Potassium hydroxide. Potassium's in group one on the periodic table. It'll have a one plus charge and then the hydroxide that'll have a one minus the whole oh so we have two potassium ions two k plus and i'll write the states at the end plus two of the hydroxides and then with the h2co3 the carbonic acid even though it dissolves it's not dissociating it's a weak acid a weak electrolyte so we're just going to keep it together in our net ionic equation and have it h2co3 carbonic acid for the products, we have a positive charge on each potassium. The whole carbonate is 2 minus. So we'll have two potassium ions, 2K plus, plus that carbonate ion, CO3, 2 minus. And then for water, we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations either. We don't split water apart. So it's just 2H2O. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. I'm looking for something that's the same in the reactants and the products. The only thing I see, we have two potassium ions here and two here. So we can get rid of those. Everything else is unique. That makes this the net ionic equation for KOH plus H2CO3. I'll clean it up and add the states and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus carbonic acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 times 1 minus, so that's 2 minus in the reactants, and then we just have a 2 minus in the products. Mass is also conserved. If you count the atoms up each type, you would have the same on each side. So that's it. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for KOH plus H2CO3. Thanks for watching.